Mother Road, Sadder Road, your boy Bad Rasta, you know? Talk the truth TV, yeah, man. So, part two. Still a chatting at the cooking, see me, so. I get back these things clean up back now. I know we like to just clean back the kitchen, same time when we finish. I get this thing clean up back now, my darling. That here. That right here, time. Take away the garlic. I'm going to put up back all these things. Inside the fridge. Yeah. So. Yeah. So when I clean up, so we don't do one part two. Part one, we clean up back. Get back the thing set. Yeah, because we don't like the place dirty. We like when we have things, we just keep the place clean. So you know your environment has to be clean. So each time you do a set of things, you know, yeah. So clean up back each time. You know, each time you clean up back, you know, make your face look tidy and clean. Cause it's a cleanly cleanliness. You just cook your food with happiness, but your face clean, you cook happy. You understand me? Everything about your place clean. You don't say your place clean, so your food gotta be nice. You know, I enjoy it because you know you're cooking in a clean environment. You understand when the environment dirty, you know, the food can't go. The food don't have no energy, yeah? It's waste. So you cook clean and cook for a good energy, make your pot, you know, your food well. You understand me? Nice. Yeah, so that now go on bubble. And just put away all these things here, go ahead go. These are put in here, so. And these now go up here. Alright, these go here. Here, so. And these go up here. So. Yeah, I'm gonna clean up back again, one more time. Small little clean up. Yeah. Small little clean up, yeah. You don't know this about the kitchen. You know? I'm going to bother us to hide the kitchen, yeah? So just hide all it. Yeah? Hide all the deal. You know? Yeah, look, please clean. Like dirty environment. Yes, I'll be clean, you know. Yeah. You do your thing nice and clean, so your place stay clean, so your food clean, my people. Yeah, so find a cover for the pot there. Put it cover there now. Some soup I'm cook yesterday. You see me cook this soup. But sometimes you don't feel like eat but the same something where you cook. But look more an idea in a week and if you have a feel tomorrow you know eat it just straight out. But probably you know I'm gonna eat some ice tomorrow and if you eat it tomorrow just straight out. Because some real gongo peas ital soup me make you know mm -hmm. so I don't feel like eat it back today. I'm just going to cook some rice and peas Put some stew in it out So, that's how it is yeah. That's how it is for today You can use the same one Man, as you make like ital things, yeah, son. 
You know, some people do them things, but we make two things different. You know? We make mostly ital things. I like to eat ital, you know? Some people like to eat a lot of junk, but, you know? They just like to eat ital food. Me like ital. I can use a knife here, and a knife is more sharper, you know? Yeah. I'm going to look at chop chop board. I'm going to use my little chop chop board, you know? So, first thing for a serve. Look at the carrot. And get some carrot. Some people might peel off the carrot, but as I say, I'm going to peel off the carrot. I'll just chop, chop. Yeah. Chop, chop, yeah. So I'm going to chop the carrot in there. Some people like when they chop the way, but we chop them in the way there, you know? Chop them in the way there. And these are the vegetables that we have to when we have to eat them when we have to eat them. change and like mix up the mayonnaise and all those things you know me just eat natural I really am telling you I'm 50 year old you know and I don't eat meat no type of meat no shrimps no chicken no meat at all I don't eat so I just try to keep up my original style where I come meet my grandmother because I you know grandmother and grandfather them wow people if that smells so delicious I tell you Rice and peas have got bad. I'll tell you, no joke about it, brother. It's got hot. Mm -hmm. Smells good, man. I'll tell you. Yeah. Rice and peas have got shell on them. I'm going to eat it, so. I'll make some carrot. Yeah. It's me a natural food me I make you know me I tell you, you can watch that too YouTube channel and just live see me like me. You don't have to eat meat to look good. You don't trust me when you eat meat you don't look good. I tell you no, no joke. Cause me not telling you like say I suck my minimum. No. I'm living off and not eat meat. I'm swear to you. No, I don't. So that is that. Get a piece of cabbage. Okay. Get a piece of cabbage, you know. I don't know how the guys make on the coleslaw, you know. But I'm sure it's how we make my coleslaw, right? This is the way we make my coleslaw. So I get it on the board, so I start to dice it. So everybody will go there to pour coleslaw with mayonnaise and pour it in the sort of liquid. No, we don't do that. We go natural. You know? You have enough chemical in this damn thing where they put in it already because you know I'm firing this. So, you know what I'm firing this so.
Yeah, man, just you want me to make my cold slaw. Yeah. I don't know about anybody else how they make for them. But this is how I make my cold slaw. Yeah. I'm just get this now. I'm going to throw it in this. I'm put it in this. And mix it. Mix it up in like this. So we get a little bit of sugar. Just a little bit of sugar. Just to give it a little flavor. Yeah, that's how I do it. I don't know how they make flame coleslaw, but that's how we grow up when we eat with parents and make food coleslaw. You understand it? I'm put a little sugar in it right there. Then pour a little um, vinegar. So pour a little vinegar in it. That's it, cold slab. Yeah. That's it. Cold slab ready. Ready for rice and peas. You understand? Yeah, ready for rice and peep. Feed peep, cold slaw ready. So, cold slaw finish. And you know, see, as well, we tell it to like clean up because we're done. So, I'm going to clean up again. Step three. So, each time we're done, do one set. I don't wait for it. Do another set and we're done the kitchen. I clean up at the kitchen again. So, I like to see my kitchen clean. So, you know what now? I think this pot ready now for search down my rice. So, I'll get my rice prepared as soon as I don't want this two little plate. Ready as you know, <coughs> rice ready. I'm gonna have a look at rice in this cooking. You know, because you know, Jamaican, I saw it still. We like to use the food as we say a clean place and protect all bugs. So, we keep it in a, one of these vessels, you know, so nothing can get in it. You have to keep your belly good, you know. Your belly, yeah, you have to take care of your belly. So I keep it in our vessel that nothing can go down in there. You know? Yeah. I think this is alright. I'm going to pour it off alright. Yeah. I'm going to pour it off alright. I think could have take one more scoop. And sometimes when you cook a little bit, the food is so nice and say you're sorry I never cook a little bit more. So you know what? Let's don't go there. Let's just make it maximum. 
out, then we have to wash your rice properly because you don't know where it's coming from. You don't know these trying to people create it a lot of time. Yeah, what some people in you know, some places you know, walk up in night with them water boot and in sweat. You know, so you have to just make sure so you wash your rice properly. Wash it, wash it till you see the water clear. And you see, yes, it's right. Properly wash. Some people use a little soap inside. So, you know, take away the dirt, but no, I just rub it. You know, I just rub it. You know. You see water clean and nice. You can also see your rice clean and nice. Yeah. Give it one more wash. And this water was nice to clean. And then we'll see this one now we carry it half, yeah? This one is very clean. Then we'll have your rice is very, very clean. Yeah? Yeah, this water is very clean also. You know, you won't taste nothing in your rice. Your rice is nice and clean. Okay? Pour it up. Yeah? Then, Pour the rice into the pot. Pour the rice into the pot. Yes. And then. Close up up this bucket properly. Anything not not go inside there. And just bring it back up. Okay. So yes, this is part two of the video. So I'm going to make part three. I'm just gonna make some video of the stage of the stage. So when I post them, you know that is this day, you know, this Monday day when I do this cooking. So I just giving you stage by stage as you can watch right till the process finish okay so see you in third part three